7.48. Now, the subject of assisted dying was raised recently by the broadcasting legend, Dame Esther Ranson, who said she's considering it for herself. And it's also being explored in a new drama, uh, a new Channel 4 drama. Yeah, it's called True Love. It's uh, about a group of pensioners who are reunited at another friend's funeral and then they make a pact, a drunken pact. We're going to speak to one of the stars, Sue Johnson, in just a moment. First, have a quick look at the drama. To be serious, just for one minute, could it be done? Could we not help each other when the time comes, make a more elegant exit? You're not still on this, are you? Don't be so morbid. You'd need a really good pre-med. Get properly mellow. David could prescribe it. I wrote my last prescription a decade ago. But why not? Really? Because you never get away with it, that's why not. Old person dies, not exactly headline news. <laughs> people get away with it every day. I could take you now to the houses of people who got away with it. Oh, well, that was then. I mean, with respect, the forensics these days, it's moved on since your day, Phil. Oh, yes. <laughs> the beautiful pathologist deduces the whole thing from a molecule. <laughs> <laughs> you watch too much TV. And we do watch a lot of television. Well, you do, Marion. Speak for yourself. Detectives, true crimes, anything with a psychopath. <laughs> oh, what about mobile phones? CCTV. So do it where there's no CCTV. Well, Sue Johnson, I'm very pleased to say, joins us uh, on the sofa this morning. Good morning to you. Morning, morning. Thank you for coming in. True Love, tell us a bit about it. True Love. Oh, right. Well, it's um, the lead... The lead characters, but don't let this put you off, are all in their 70s. <laughs> I think that's one of the great things about it, though, that's isn't it? That's what I love. It. Well, obviously, I loved it about it, because it, usually you're playing an old crank in the corner, you know, who's dying in a bed, or somebody's old granny. But this was about people who are living their lives, and, uh, and, they, and they meet at a... Uh, it begins at a friend's funeral, and... I don't know whether... Maybe you're too young, but I know I've, I've said this and friends have said it. When, you're, when you see somebody you love die horribly, you say, oh, don't let that happen to me. Put a pillow over my face, give me some pills. It's a, it's a thing you say without much thought, really. And they get very, very drunk at this um, wake, very drunk, and they make a pact because the brother, led by my brother, is played by Carl Johnson, who leads it and says, we've got to promise true love, and if we want it, we'll help each other. And, of course, they all go, oh, yes, true love, and sing true love, never thinking, I don't think, that it will happen. And it does. And that's how it begins. But then it twists and turns. Mm. Um, it ain't what you think it is. And in those twists and turns, we visit the whole debate that so many people are having this at the moment. We're talking about Esther Ranson, but yes. so many families are talking about it, friends are talking about it. Has it made you question what, what you think? Oh, absolutely, because just before Christmas, a very dear friend of mine died, and I was at his bedside, and I thought... And we talked about it. Not him, because he wasn't, he wasn't conscious, but the other friends who were there, we said, would you... It, it put me in a position of, if he'd woken up and said, put a pillow on my face, would I have done it? I don't... But it also makes you think, would I want my family to see me like that and have to spend time at a bedside? When you've gone, really, um, you're just being kept alive by medicine. I don't know. I cannot answer the question in all truth. I cannot answer the question as to whether I would have the courage to do it if someone asked me or... And funny enough, Coronation Street, they're de dealing with the same thing. So it's very... <laughs> but this doesn't just go there. This isn't just about that. It raises the question, uh, but it's... There are other things going on in the drama, because it's a drama. It's, it's another, a thriller. It is another example. We're obviously talking a lot about the post office drama today, but it is amazing with this as well, how drama can really get a conversation going. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It always has been. Um, I mean, I think of Hillsborough and Jimmy McGovern's Hillsborough, bringing that to the screen, 
helped those people, not fundamentally, but, you know, certainly brought it to people's notice. So I've always, you know, there's always been theatre productions and television that will, although the post office one is so huge, how it's been ignored, how it, it's rather shaming that it took a drama to bring this out, I, I feel. Um, it's, it's wheels within wheels. It gets bigger and bigger. It's extraordinary. There's been some, some coverage in the papers over the last couple of days, questions about, you know, drama is expensive to produce for television, isn't it? And, and saying that, you know, there won't necessarily be the money in the future to make these kinds of dramas, however much impact they have. What do you think? Do, are, are they safer now because of maybe the impact of, of Mr Bates and the post office? Uh, well, I would hope there would always be room for drama. My goodness. Well, I've, obviously, I've got a vested interest. <laughs> Please keep making them. But do you feel um, quite empowered as an actor by, by the power of, of drama right now? Oh, I, but I've always felt that power because when I was, when I was young and in theatre, I used to do theatre and education, and we used to talk about... and, and agitprop theatre and uh, community theatre. We deal with issues. Um, and and so I've always felt uh, I've always loved that issue led um, something that meant something that it wasn't airy fairy that it had a meaning and had a question. Um, so I think that that's always been part of my life, um, and I I do and I, it's great to watch as well. I mean those performances in in the, the post office were fantastic. They were so truthful and very you could tell that they were invested in that material. Um, so I would hope I mean there, there's been a lot of cutbacks in drama um, so but the money is a big question, isn't it for well for all of us who work in it, but I would hope that drama would always find its way. It should. It should be supported on television. It should. Um, I'm burbling now, please. No, no, I had to. I just wonder me. whether things have changed. You're well known for being a, a campaigner and, and you know, being outspoken on, on sort of political issues. Have things changed now? Because there's certainly a sense that politics, perhaps people don't identify with the politicians, with the politics as much now but something like this drama can just put things forward in a way that people yes. can really understand. It's made people angry. Um, that's probably a bit of a shock to the powers that be. And maybe we should make them angry. <laughs> so, there's a few more subjects I'd like people to write about to make people angry about. Um, you know, it's uh, people running for cover and people won't... I think that people will see this through. It's not going to... Just hide, they can't hide it away. People are very angry about this. It's affected so many people in a terrible way. In, you know, heartbreaking. So don't run for cover. There are, you know, I was away at the time sort of language we don't want to hear, we want answers. And I think I'm not alone thinking that. Absolutely right. You're certainly not alone. And, uh, and all the feedback that we've had, haven't we, and the courage over the last week, everything we've seen shows that this is something that's really important um, to people. Yes. I should say, obviously, Sue, thank you for coming in. And oh. you can watch the third episode of True Love. That's on Channel 4 at 9 o'clock tonight. And you can, of course, catch the first two on the channel's streaming service. Thank you. The power thank of that you very drama, much. The power of the other drama. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> drama is everywhere, isn't it? You're watching Break. <laughs>